Welcome everybody to another episode of the Get to Know Her Show. I am your host, Monica Graves. It's great to have you guys here. How have you been? How was your weekend? Uh, I know we were all celebrating Mother's Day in different ways. Um, so I hope that you got some joy and happiness uh, over the weekend and uh, that everything went as well as it could um, under this pandemic circumstance. Anyways, <laughs> what a world we're living in, you guys. Um, I'm so excited. Our guest today is Barb Days, who is an amazing Wonder Woman right here in our community of Burlington. And I'm going to tell you all about her in just a minute. But today, I uh, it's still cold here. It has not warmed up. And uh, it's May the 11th. And I needed to wear a little sweater today. So I'm actually wearing this classic piece from Brenda. And it's long. I'm going to take my earbuds off so you guys can see. It's a nice long sweater and it goes really well with these houndstooth pants that are from her newer collection. But uh, yeah, it's so cozy. The fabric is soft. I love it with my long necklace and my long earrings. And um, you guys, I hope you've been able to shop on Brenda's website. Her site, again, is brendabadome.com, and the coupon code that you can use for 21% off is so easy. It's get to know her. That's all you have to do when you check out of her uh, website with all your items in your cart, and you're going to get 21% off, which is awesome. Let me tell you about Barb. Working in the medical field has always been Barb's passion and why she became a nurse 30 years ago. She has worked in various settings, including hospitals, doctor's offices, hospice, and nursing homes. Many years ago, Barb worked at as the supportive care coordinator for a local breast cancer agency. It was during that eight year period and after the death of two dear friends from cancer that she witnessed how difficult it was for people to get the support, information, resources and specialty products they truly needed to get through this traumatic time in their lives. These experiences changed her perspective on life. I'm going to chat about her Bar, with Barb about her store, Body Med Boutique, born in 2011, and how she developed the Camisol Project, which I know many of you have heard of. It's a nonprofit initiative to provide women facing breast cancer surgery with a free post-surgical camisole and heart pillow and actually a few other things have been added to that as well. So we're going to bring Barb on right now. I'm so happy she's here. Barb! Hi, Monica! <laughs> How are you doing? I'm great, thank you. How are you? Oh, good. I'm so happy to have you here. And I want to share with the, the folks how it all sort of came to be. Um, I had a, a cancellation and I met you in a parking lot. <laughs> And I said, Barb, you've been on my hot list to interview for so long. Are you by chance available? And you said, yep, getting my COVID shot in the morning. And then I'll... <laughs> <laughs> for sure, I'm here. that's amazing. So I'm so happy it worked out because uh, you've been, yeah, like I said, you've been top of mind and on my list for quite a while. You're such a wonder woman. Oh, I just well, love I everything. <laughs> I love everything you do. <laughs> And I'm very excited to be here as well. And you're a Wonder oh. Woman too. <laughs> Aw, thanks. Yeah, we, we stick together. <laughs> so Barb, I'm going to ask you what I ask everybody. What did little Barb want to be when she grew up? That's what we want to know. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it changed over the years, but originally I've always wanted to be a doctor. <laughs> um, and uh, for a long time, I wanted to be a doctor or something in the medical field. And later in life, it sort of changed to social worker and then nurse. And, and then nurse was the one that it ended up being. So, yeah. Wow. That, that's amazing. And as a kid, like growing up, were you, were you into babysitting and stuff like that? Like, were you always sort of looking for caregiver roles and different yeah, things you did so. or? Yeah. I, yeah. I was the one who my mother always, my mother always called me the leader of the pack because if, if we were riding bikes, I'd be the first one in line. If we were doing something else, I would be the one that needed to go first. <laughs> yeah. Um, but we always, I started babysitting when I was 11 um, and did a lot of that my whole life. 
And then I also did a lot of other things. Like I'd be the one who brought my friend home from high school that wasn't getting along with her parents. And my parents would right. help let me take them in for a few days or, you know, we'd just go on long walks and chat about stuff. So I think, yeah, I think in a way my, my whole life has been like that. And, and probably in a way, cause my mom, my mom, um, wasn't a nurse or anything in the medical field, but she was the one who always, if somebody new came to the neighborhood, she'd be making cards for them or doing something for them, welcoming them. And so I think yeah. a lot of it came from that as well. And my dad too, but it's, yeah, I think that's just the way I was. <laughs> that's amazing. So I have to share something with you because you were so gracious and accommodated me so quickly to be my guest this week. Mm -hmm. I, I had said, to, usually I say to people, please send me a photo and a bio. And I said to you, Barb, don't worry about it. We're friends on Facebook. I'll find a picture of you. I'll, I know, I already know you. I can, you know, get this information. Right. So as I was going through and um, what do we call it? Creeping you on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> This, how you're describing yourself, it shone through because I could not find a picture of just you. You've never taken a selfie. You've never said, hey, take a picture of me, everything. And the way you are with people in those photos, it is so exactly what you're talking about. You've got your arm around them. You're caring about them. You're giving them something. You're talking about them. Like everything is about the other person. And the, it is. <laughs> yeah, 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 it really, I wanted you to know that it really oh, shone through. Yeah, and I think, I'm, sorry, I'm not yeah. one to take pictures of myself. Even today, I took a COVID shot of me after I got my needle, but I didn't really want yeah. to get too much of myself in it. So it was like my arm with a band aid on it. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I love it. And you're feeling okay after your shot? Totally. Great yeah. service at Joe Brandt. It was very organized, just really quick, really, really good. Yeah. Good. That's yeah. great. Wow. Yeah. So, so you were in nursing for 30 years. Yes. Uh, I was, and... an R, uh, I graduated as an RPN, registered okay. practical nurse. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I did a whole bunch of stuff. I, I, I had kids quite young. I was only 20 when I had my daughter. So um, I worked, I sort of worked uh, at a paint store and at Joe Brandt and I worked a bunch of different things. Um, and just over the years having kids, I wanted to stay home with them at least part-time. Mm -hmm. So I always usually had a part-time job and a business on the go or two part-time jobs, one in the evening and one during the day. And, and most of it was uh, in nursing for the most part um, mm -hmm. until I got to the support service on Brant Street where I used to work uh, for eight years for the breast cancer. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. And so in 2011, Body Med was born. Right. And how, like, was this something that you had been thinking about for quite a while? Or <laughs> how did it all happen? Yeah, That's, it was, it, it's a big uh, it was, it commitment. Was, it was a big commitment. And honestly, I, I mean, I'd always had little businesses my whole life. I did some catering. We did a, a service staff business. There was a bunch of little things I did with my friend. Yeah. Um, and I think the, the reason it came about mainly is because I had worked at a breast cancer agency in Burlington. Um, and my best friend died of breast cancer at a quite a young age. And I, you know, obviously that affected me greatly. And then two years mm -hmm. later, another good friend died. Um, and then my mother was diagnosed as well of, oh. with breast cancer. So it, it was obviously near and dear to my heart that I wanted to do something in that field. So I, I did work at Breast Cancer Support Services. And then after that, I, I sort of needed to leave there and do a few other things. And, and I ended up at a pharmacy in Burlington um, doing mastectomy fitting and compression wow. garments. Um, and then that pharmacy closed. So I was kind of like, now what? What am I going to do? And it was actually my husband, Paul, who who kind of said, you know what? You're so good at this. Why don't you just do it on your own? And I'm like, oh, I don't know if I can. Like, where am I going to do it? And we went to breakfast at Mount Royal Restaurant in Mount Royal Plaza in Burlington. And yeah. we were talking about it. And I was kind of getting used to the idea of maybe starting this. And scary as it was, as you know, very scary yeah. to start a business. Um, we walked out of the restaurant and the two doors down, there was a for lease sign on one of the uh, stores. And wow. so we took the number down. I called the guy and in two weeks I signed a contract for five years. <laughs> and so it was like, oh my God, how do I buy stuff? What am I going to do? 
you know, it was, it was Amazing. pretty challenging. And um, thank God I had one of the women, Anne, from the pharmacy I worked at had become a friend of mine. And she needed to leave and get a new job as well. So I asked her to come with me and let's do this. And so she ended up being, she still is the manager at the store. And she had a lot of background in inventory and buying and that sort wow. of thing. And she also had had breast cancer. So it was a perfect, perfect match um, of friends. And just the, like you say, the universe just came together and kind yeah. of, you know, I don't know, I don't know why I met Anne or whatever, but it, it came together amazingly. And that was kind of how it got started. Wow, that's fantastic. And so Barb, the, uh, the other thing I didn't know were about your two certificates that you have. Um, if you can talk about that a little bit, that uh, that you're a certified vascular compression fitter and a certified mastectomy bra fitter. Um, did you do that after the store or you already had that with the pharmacy? I had already you, done it with the pharmacy. Okay. But we okay. Do, we do retraining quite often just to yeah. keep up to date on things. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's amazing because you really created a place where, I mean, when a woman gets a, a diagnosis, the last thing she wants to do is go to five different places to get everything she needs, right? And exactly. that's, that. I love that that's really the heart of your business is let's make this as easy as possible. Absolutely. And I think that's really important because that's what women fear. They First of all, when they're diagnosed, they don't really know what to do or where to go. Um, yeah. And it's much easier just to come to one place for everything you need. And also, you know, over the years, especially we've, we've gained a lot of knowledge ourselves and, and, you know, just, I do a lot of research and, and, and reading and, um, and talking to people and you find out a lot more and, you know, can't give advice per se, but you can help them with some things that they need to know. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. So tell us about your, you have, how many people have you got on staff? At I the have, store, uh, three, including myself. Okay, perfect. And there, are, all of your staff members are specialized, yes. correct? They all, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're all trained. They're all certified. Okay. And like yeah. I said, I tend to, if I am hiring, I tend to like to hire. Don't have to, but I tend to like to hire someone who has either experience with breast cancer or some kind of medical experience because it just gives. I mean, it obviously. Um, I think people can be more confident knowing they can come to us. Mm -hmm. We don't know all the answers, but it's nice to have people that have a little bit of background in something. Yeah, that's great. Mm -hmm. So 2011, so you're celebrating 10 years this year. 10 years, May 18th. Well, oh my gosh. And are you, do you have anything planned for the celebrations? Yeah, I mean, I was planning to have a big party. Of course, <laughs> like, yeah. Like an open house, but what we're doing, yeah. we're just doing some, we're doing 10, uh, 10 gift giveaways um we did we we're doing some sales you know we're doing that sort of thing just to kind of you know yeah. help help celebrate um, good. so that's great but yeah it's it's been good and it's been a, it's been a, it's can't, i can't believe it's 10 years to be honest it's gone so yeah quickly. amazing that's great and i i wanted to ask you too barb um there you have other items in your store right do you want to yeah. just sort of let people know what you carry overall for anyone who wants to come and visit you cuz Sure, sure. That, yeah. And that's that's the whole reason we like the sort of one-stop shop in a sense because mm -hmm. it's easier for people. So we started generally as um, compression garments and mastectomy. And we've added um, products such as hats and um, chemotherapy hats. Not necessarily chemotherapy. Anybody can buy the hats. They're really cute and nice. Yeah. Um, but hats for people. Uh, we've got organic products um, for uh, radiation, like radiation creams. Uh, we've got queasy drops for for sickness, wh whether you're pregnant or you're you're um, having chemo or you just have motion sickness. Um, we have been doing a lot of compression um, because a lot of the docs around town are referring to us for uh, people that are having surgery for uh, breast reductions, breast augmentations, or reconstructing um, when you've had breast cancer. So wow. uh, most of the surgeons in town are referring us to that for that. Yeah. Um, and then we all, you know, we do compression socks and, and bot belly binders um, for um, after surgeries. And we do hot flash pajamas because there's so many people going through menopause these days. Oh my gosh, yeah. I'll be right over. <laughs> <laughs> right. And I know yeah. women, women with breast cancer tend to um, go into menopause depending on their age with all their right. treatments. So 
um, yeah. it, it was sort of a natural fit as well. We're trying to make the store a little more holistic in the fact that we're looking at the whole person. And that's what most of my suppliers are also doing. So as much as we're um, a mastectomy compression shop, we anybody can shop there. I wear the mastectomy bras and I haven't had breast cancer. They're very comfortable. Most of them have no underwires. Some of them do. Um, and there's tank tops that are, have built-in bras. Like there's all kinds of things. So it's, uh, yeah. it's, it is a lot of, um, you know, we've done a lot of expanding over the years as well, but, um, and we actually just expanded into sort of a medical maternity uh, because I have two daughters that are a daughter-in-law and a daughter that are pregnant right now. And just, oh, wow. uh, you know, finding stuff through COVID other than online, at least uh, I'm an essential store. So people can actually come in and buy belly bands and, and binders, orthopedic binders um, and, okay. and nursing bras, of course. So, yeah, so it's kind of exciting. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Can we go back for a minute to the hot flash pajamas? <laughs> sure. So tell, what are they all about? <laughs> actually really comfortable i i swear to god this is no lie i probably have 20 pairs oh my god um, i'm through menopause now and my hot flashes have finally subsided um however they were amazing when i did have it and they're just made of a special material some of them are made of bamboo um, okay. some of them have a treated fabric uh, that is safe um and they're just really comfortable they're soft and comfortable and we actually call them leisure wear because some of them you can wear as t-shirts in the summer um, if you're really nice. hot and it wick, they wick away sweat basically so if you're having oh. sort of a real hot night sweat or night flash yeah. um, you won't have to change your sheets or anything you 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 know you still may get a bit warm but it, you mm -hmm. cool down, you'll cool down very quickly and they're actually uh, they wick away sweat better than cotton about four times better than cotton so okay. um, that is probably one of our best sellers because they're, we just got a new shipment in today and they're really and truly, really nice pajamas. <laughs> oh, that's so great. Wow. Yeah. You, you know what I miss the most with these hot flashes? I miss being cold and putting on a cozy sweater, sweater. and drinking a, a, yeah, and then drinking a glass of red wine and, you know, the, the and with no like, oh my God, now I got to get down to my bra and underwear because I'm going to die <laughs> after one sip. <laughs> thing right I, now i wear i always layer now i have like yeah. a, a no sleeve or a short sleeve shirt almost even through the winter and then with a sweater over top because you end up having to yeah layer, right because you're too warm yeah exactly oh the joys yeah so fun. it's so fun, <laughs> it's so, fun. so barb it, um nine years ago so how, when is that now that would have been uh 2013 12. or 12 oh 12 sorry right um, the camisole project was born. It was. Is that right? Um, nine years? Yes, that's right. Is that, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's probably, yeah, yeah close, closer to nine than eight for sure. Okay. Yeah. So in my previous yeah. job, when I worked at the breast cancer agency, um, we used to listen to a lot of women come in that were newly diagnosed. And one of their main complaints was that they had to sort of carry around these drains from the surgical site. Okay. And it, they were frustrating because they just sort of hang there or people take the little tube and they have to safety pin them onto their clothes. And then you forget you have the safety pin there. So you try and take your shirt off and the drain gets pulled a bit and just a real pain. So yeah. one of my companies um, makes a, a camisole that has drain pouches. Um, it's brilliant. It's a brilliant design. And so I brought some into the store, but to sell them, I would have had to have sold them for like $65. And they were kind of something you would use maybe for two weeks of your life. So it just oh. didn't seem right to have to sell these to people, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, I just couldn't. So I had a bunch of friends um, and they that were volunteers and they said, we're going to have a fundraiser so we can raise enough money to buy a bunch of camisoles for you. And so they came and did a jewelry, actually a jewelry and, and sort of store wow. uh, uh, in my in my store. Um, and we raised $865 and I bought all the camisoles I could at a, at a bit of a discounted cost. And we just started handing them out. And then included in that, we would give them a, what we call a comfort pillow. Um, and it's a little heart shaped pillow. I don't know if you can see this, but I have one. Oh, well. nice. And that's mine. I, I have one too. <laughs> um, oh. And my best friend's mom makes them all by hand for us. And she is an expert. She's 85 years old. She's amazing. 
and she loves doing it and she's always worried if barb's out of pillows and her her oh daughter drops God. 12 off to me at a time and she makes them just perfectly and anyway those go under your arm where the little dip in the heart is they go under your arm under uh, under the arm where the surgical site is um, and it's just we call it comfort because that's really truly what it's for it's a comfort pillow because under your arm gets numb and tingly and all kinds of things after surgery so it really is just comfort and most of the women honestly that come back to my store say that was probably one of the best things they ever got in the bag oh amazing wow yeah. so what little thing <laughs> Yeah, such a little thing. And I didn't realize they were all handmade. All handmade, but, yeah. Oh, that's so great. Sure. So you're, um, so when you first started it, it was the, the camisole and the pillow that you were giving. And now there's more items that you include in there, is, are there? Yes, there is. Yeah. Because as, as we sort of grew and there was more demand and, and some people in the, in the community came around and, and helped again, helped fundraise for, for more um, funds so that we could buy more things. We mm -hmm. decided to um, get a bag for people that was sort of big enough that you could take to the hospital for the day surgery or in the overnight. Yeah. Um, and then we also got some other products from people. Um, we have an organic lip balm and a, and a roller ball from Bloomis. And we've yeah. got, um, we have, uh, you know, my dentist um, donated toothbrushes and toothpaste. And we have pens and journals and really cozy socks from Burlington Taxi from their Socks from Hope program. So there are so wow. many people that came forward and helped with, with either fundraising or donations. Yeah. We, still, we still buy the camis um, and I still buy the fabric for the hearts and a couple of other things. Uh, we, you know, people have given us discounts to buy in bulk. So mm -hmm. it's, um, it's turned out to be that they're getting quite a few things that help them be sort of in the hospital before surgery and in the hospital. Um, to get through it just for that wow. uh, short period of time. That's amazing. So are you, um, is it exclusively with Joe Brandt or is it for anybody going through it? Do you have connections where people tell you, okay, we have a woman or how do you find the women? So um, it's actually, uh, it's, it's really overwhelming and humbling to me because we started basically with just our own community. Mm -hmm. um, and as word spread through either women that have been, um, that have taken a bag from us, have, have received a bag or, um, through just, I had cards made and I just kind of sent them around to all the doctors in the area just to let them know that this was available to their clients. And we started branching out a little bit to Hamilton and Oakville and, you know, just Halton, Hamilton kind of area, mm -hmm. but it's grown now to the point <laughs> we can barely keep up, which is kind of sad. Uh, in a way, um, but we're now people from Princess Margaret and Trillium and, you know, um, wow. uh, the, well, I can't remember the other, just oh, Credit Valley and Oakville yeah. and Brantford, Niagara, like we're getting people from all over the place coming to get these bags. And like, I think it's just such a small little bag, but it, it helps people so much. Just, I think also coming into the store, we can when they come to pick it up, we try the camisole on them just to make sure it fits. And, mm. and they ask us some questions and then they realize that, you know, we can give them a little bit of help and, and where to find other things maybe they need in their area. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's really grown to this sort of huge wow. project that I never, I never in my wildest dreams thought it would. It was really just for the women in our community and, and it's really grown. And I, I mean, I'd love to take it across Ontario, but you know, it's, it's sort of one of those things where little baby steps but yeah but we are seeing like over the period from when covid struck last march mm -hmm. we have been giving on average um 30 bags a month and it used to be three or five or six um, and it's oh, like and I, again part of it is probably because people are coming from further away mm -hmm. and they're hearing more about us but uh, part of it is there's just a heck of a lot of breast cancer diagnosis in this mm -hmm. area so yeah. Wow. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. Bar and is there any way people can help to like help you with the funding for this? Like if you're still, you know, paying for camisoles and that kind of thing, it, it do you have something set up where people can donate money to you to, to help yeah, to fund for this? Sure. Um, we'd, mm -hmm. we'd love, I mean, cash is great, but we also would love like a bunch of dentists to come forward and donate 50 toothbrushes and toothpaste or, um, you know, just any, anything, hand creams, anything that they think might be uh, worthwhile for a hot, you know, a hospital stay or, 
um, mm -hmm. even afterwards when you're at home sort of convalescing and you're, you know, you can't, well, we can't go out anyway, but you know, you do feel alone. And I, I recently started this little cards for kids program. And so now we have a lot of little kids making get well cards and we put them in the bags as well. Oh. And they're, they're just the cutest thing because they'll be, they'll be like, get well soon. Um, from Jason and X O X O, or uh, that's all, <laughs> you know, like, get well soon, that's all. <laughs> and then you know, the mom oh. just lets them do what they want to do, but it's just yeah. it's kind of just a little fun, kind of hopefully will make the women smile um, when they open the bag and they've got this cute little card from a kid they don't know that's really kind of cute. But yeah, yeah. so any, anything is anything is is appreciated um and you can donate on my website or on the camel cell project website or come into the store we have t-shirts available for 20 bucks that we sell all the money goes back in and you know we have we have cards in the store you can um sort of uh put a little wish on for people and, mm -hmm. and they're five bucks and you can so we're, it's ongoing the fundraising we yeah. had a big big fundraiser uh thank goodness last year before covid at um at jake's uh, boathouse and he was Jamie Myers was amazing him and a bunch of other men and they raised quite a lot of money for us and that has really Great. held through this last year and a half so I'm grateful <sighs> for that because otherwise without being able to fundraise that much you know yeah a Barafion and Ted they did a bunch of them for us too so over the years we've had amazing people in the community that have done it for us um, and you know I was a part of the divas as well for a long time and they did yeah. the fundraising so everybody's helping and contributing and it's just yeah it's an ongoing th uh, thing though as you know fundraising is yep. an ongoing project for sure doing, so. yeah yeah and it you know it's it's interesting like do, do you find now during covid barb i think almost pe people are almost more in tune to what's needed in the community like i find with our fundraising too it's almost like we're getting better responses now because yeah, I agree. I, yeah, yeah, it's. Yeah, I think it, people understand that it's difficult yeah, for us, and and yeah. uh, very often I get you know good feedback and donations from the, actually the women that are picking up the camp the camisole bag, and you know I'm I'm terrible because I'm like, you don't have to do that. This is for you, you know. But mm -hmm. the, they either you know give a donation or they you know their family does or something. A lot of them, it's it's just very thoughtful that they're yeah. giving back as well. I think it makes them feel good too. So yeah, I think the yeah. the communities come together when it's a, a stressful time. Yeah. Sure. Oh, that's so nice. Wow. So how like how do you feel, Barb? You know, in terms of I mean, it's a lot of work running your own business, having staff all of that <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know are do you take a lot of time just for you too are you practicing self-care and taking time off and i mean yeah. or do you you know as a businesswoman do you feel like you're working around the clock or the ideas constantly like oh my god i could do yeah, this think, do th yeah i yeah. think like most women entrepreneurs we you're constantly thinking of what to do next or what what how to help the business you've got or how to help women in general mm -hmm. and so that those my, always go through my mind i have an amazing staff so they they keep things going when i'm not there um and uh, you know they've both you know they've both lena and Anne have been like tremendous in in keeping the store running and they're both so knowledgeable and, and compassionate so mm -hmm. that certainly helps but yeah i think i'm just constantly thinking of what how to how to improve things and how to I mean obviously online store is gotten bigger this year just because of, of yeah. COVID um, and I know I probably didn't do a lot of good self-care over the years um, because I'm a, I'm a helper and I'm a caregiver and you know I also had parents with dementia that I was looking after and mm. that was a really tough time owning your own business trying to do that as well so yeah i think there's a lot of things uh we do that you know behind the scenes that you know nobody tends to know about that you're pretty stressed out about um mm -hmm. but you get through it and you move forward and and i think this last year has made me really think about a lot of things too just with covid and everything and, and certainly i'm i'm gung-ho and the store is going to be open for a long time but I did take a little bit of time not off but just to to do some self-care i i i, I joined up with a nutrition coach and I lost some weight and I'm eating and eating better and, you know, not drinking mm -hmm. as much wine and <laughs> all kinds of things. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's helped a lot. Um, you know, not eating a lot of sugar and that sort of thing, just because I think all those things add to your stress. Um, so yeah. yeah, I feel like 
it's been a really good year for that. So yeah, I think it's, good. um, you, you got to take time for yourself. You know, you do yeah, it. you really do. And it's so interesting, isn't it? Like once you've crossed that 50 line, it's like your body's going to tell you whether you like it or not. Right. You yeah. got it. <laughs> we really have to pay attention. Yeah. And I mean, yeah. honestly, I just turned 59. So it's like, I feel wow. like, I think that was it too. Next year's the big six zero, and I have a yeah. lot of friends that have turned that age too, and everybody's great. But it's like, yeah, I want to be around for a long time for my grandkids and for the women in, you know, they're going through breast cancer. So mm -hmm. I think we have to, yeah, we have to look after ourselves. most definitely. Yeah, for sure we do. So that's good. How, like with the sugar elimination, I'm curious, I was doing so well. And then last night, my husband came home with Kit Kat bars. I was like, why? <laughs> and I, can't, I, know. I couldn't right. say no. No, it. it's terrible. Mine's Smarties. I like Smarties. <laughs> he had Smarties too. He goes, you got a choice, Smarties or Kit Kat. See, I should have passed them along. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The sugar thing has been really amazing. Um, and I'm not saying I'm never eating sugar again, because I, obviously I will. And I do. Mm -hmm. But I think that was the big, I, like, I don't have hot flashes at night anymore since I've eliminated sugar. Wow. So I don't know, I don't know if it's the sugar. I think partly it was, mm -hmm. um, or maybe I'm just getting old and, I, and they're going away. But um, I yeah. feel like that happened uh, because of that. Um, and I, yeah, I think the sh it also obviously helps you to lose a bit of weight. Yeah. Um, and, not, and, and the thing is, you don't realize, and, and I knew this, we all know what we're supposed to do, but we mm. don't do it. I, I felt I needed support to do it. And that's why I got my coach. But um, yeah, I think it's, it's important to look at what you're eating. I, I wrote, I write everything down still what I eat every day. And, mm -hmm. and then you can sort of go back over the week and go, okay, well, you know, that didn't work too good. And then the yeah. nights that I do, or, or a day that I do have sugar, and maybe two glasses of wine, that's when I know I don't sleep well. So yeah, it really isn't good for you. So I, I like I said, I'm not going to give up my wine because I love it and I love the social aspect of it. But yeah, it's just definitely sugar and and even even carbs. I'm not giving up carbs. I eat bread and everything, but and potatoes yeah. and rice. But I'm just not eating anything that isn't good to put in your mouth for the most. Yeah. Part. Good for you. That's amazing. It's interesting what you're saying about wine with the social part. I I feel like my, you know, relationship with wine during COVID has completely changed. Like it, at the beginning, it was like, oh, cool. This is like extra extended Christmas vacation. I'm opening up a bottle at two o'clock. I'm going to work from home today, whatever. Right. And uh, and then it went from that to, oh, my God, I'm drinking way too much wine. <laughs> to then be realizing like, I don't like this because, well, my husband doesn't drink, but just not, you know, not, I'm not sharing a glass with a friend or sh right. you know, so then it's, it's kind of like, as, ugh. not as, in, not, not as important in your life or something, I guess. Just yeah. You're, you're kind of not going out. And when we get back to going out, great. It's really nice mm -hmm. to go and sit and have a glass of wine and dinner or something with friends. Um, yeah. But yeah. We don't just have to do it all the time. So. Yeah, that's right. I hope it's soon, Barb, because I want to go out with you for a glass of wine. Oh, me too. I can't. It'd be so nice. Wait. Yeah. Let's yeah. Hope. Let's hope. <laughs> Let's hope. So I have to read to you. You got so many amazing supporters on here. Your oh, friend what? Susan Thomas Robertson's on. Oh. Um, Laura McIntyre, who I just saw uh, yeah, uh, last week before I saw you. Uh, Nancy Canning. Um, Oh, uh, Lori wants me to ask you about the Because We Care packages. Oh, so the Because oh, We Care. and bathing suits, she says. <laughs> and Lori also said sexty, not 60. Oh, right. Of there course. you go. Yeah. Okay, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Lori. Okay. <laughs> the Because We Care packages are really just the camisole package, but we just named it Because We Care um, instead of camisole package. It just sounded nicer. So it really is the camisole project was the original name. And then okay. we, we kind of have kind of have two names, but because we care package is the package you receive with the camisole in it. Oh, I see. Okay. That's oh, so forgot, great. I forgot to mention we do do bathing suits. We have a lot of bathing suits. We have a big sale on for 20 bucks right now, and they're almost all gone, but we have quite a few left too. Wow. Um, but yeah, the, we, we do a lot of mastectomy bathing suits, or we call them pocketed because again, I wear them. Everybody, anybody can wear them. They're just really mm -hmm. nicely constructed. So we have, we like to be known as the hat and bathing suit store because we also do a lot of those things. So 
Oh, that's great. And you know what I love on your social media when you get the staff to all model, like you did a fun thing with the hats and right. yeah. yeah, yeah, we it's really to get more people looking in at us if we do it ourselves. So yeah, my, my website sure. girls always saying, Barb, put on a pair of pajamas and put it on Instagram. So. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. I, I love how that's changing too. You know, people don't want to see perfection anymore. You know, it, they, no, we definitely don't need it. They want to feel, you know, connected to the person who they're supporting. So absolutely, for sure. Yeah, yeah, we're all supermodels now, Barb. <laughs> <laughs> well, <that's> Barb. <laughs> well, Joanne Sullivan Days says, "Hey, Barb, you're looking fabulous." So there you go. Oh, Joanne you, from are... Florida. Hi. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, that's great. That's, great. Oh, that's amazing. Nice. Yeah. Well, oh, this. Job. I'm so glad and I'm so happy we got to talk about all of this because, you know, I really hope through this platform too, you know, it'll get, um, it's just a different way to get out there for people to hear your story and, you know, why you created this store and what it's all about because, you know, it's so worth the drive from wherever you are to come and see you and just not have that frustration of... Mm -hmm not knowing what you need and you have all of that background experience to help women like you said like from to, you know yeah. right from their toes to their head like yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah and and a lot of it as we know is all is uh emotional it's a lot of emotional support we give because that's a, a lot of the part of what women need at that time so yeah uh, yeah you need you need support through this for sure yeah, definitely. Oh, Barb, you're amazing. And congratulations on 10 years. Oh, thank you. So, so awesome. Yeah, it's fantastic. So I wanted to invite you, if I may, to a, a little Instagram after party. I know you have to get back to your shop because you've got somebody special coming in who you're going to be helping. Yes, which is awesome. So uh, we can do that from the phone. I'm going to put you back in my little virtual green room and you can hang tight there. I'll, I'll actually come back to you okay, and uh, and then we'll go on to Instagram for a bit. Thank you so but, much, Monica. I really oh, appreciate it. Thank you so much. It was so great to have you. We'll come talk on. soon. Thanks. Bye. Oh my goodness, you guys. Barb is delightful. If you haven't visited her store, you need to get over there. She's so wonderful. And thank you for all of her friends and supporters who joined in today to take a listen. Um, for anyone who's watching, our sponsor is Brenda Badome. You can go visit her website, brendabadome.com. She makes this uh, beautiful clothing I'm wearing today. And if you use the coupon code get to know her. Brenda will give you 21% off of your order. And lastly, if you do happen to be watching this on YouTube, I would love it if you would subscribe to the channel and let your friends know all about it. Every week, uh, we talk to another inspiring woman in the community. It's amazing. I love these stories. It makes my Tuesday so complete. I look forward to it every single week. I hope you guys do too. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks for watching and keep on showing the world your sparkle. Bye for now.